Here's a question for you. What happens when you mix the L plates, the bunny ears, the strippers and the showgirls with a different well-known celebrity each week? Answer, you get celebrity hens and stags. stag industry is worth a staggering 500 million pounds a year. That's a lot of L plates. And for these lucky people, their day is about to become one they'll never forget, as they'll be chaperoned by a well-known celebrity. Hi, I'm Keith from Red 7. We're right here in Riga in Latvia, uh, the ultimate stag destination to follow around a stag weekend with their own Red 7 celebrity rep. Riga's perfect for a stag weekend because of the cheap beer. It's really safe. It's got really funky bars, and uh, the ladies are quite sexy out here, so uh, the stags love it. <laughs> <laughs> Recently, Riga's got a little bit of bad press um, from stags being a bit wild, but the reason that we know that our stags are going to be well behaved is because we sort out activities for them to do during the day, and because we've looked after them right through the day, they're not going to be too drunk by 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The stag party we've got this weekend is a guy called Andy, and it's his, uh, his big last night out, so we've brought him out to the, the most ridiculous, uh, fantastic place you could possibly think of a stag weekend. These stags have never been to Riga before, um, they're looking for the best stag weekend they can possibly give their best friend Andy so uh, it's going to be a huge huge challenge for uh, our celebrity rep to make sure that they have that weekend and it's all organized properly from start to finish I've already met the stags already and they were obviously trying to work out who is the surprise guest they're going to have and uh, they're all hoping for a beautiful kind of glamorous party girl and uh, I think they're going to be pleasantly surprised at who we've got organized for them glamorous check Beautiful, oh yeah. Party girl, most definitely. Something tells me these stags won't be disappointed by today's celebrity rep. It's TV presenter and model Bianca Gascoigne. Bianca. Oh, hello there. Doing? Welcome to Riga. Oh, thank I'm you. Keith from Red 7. Lovely to meet you. Ooh, ooh. Lovely. Right, we brought you out here because you're well known as being a bit of a party girl. Yeah. So I thought I'd try and test your skills yeah. with a rowdy stag weekend, okay? It's going to be a bit raucous, a bit wild at times, but uh, I'm sure you'll be able to handle that. Are you up for that? Of course I am. Hey, come okay. on, have a little chat yeah. and we'll talk through what we're going to do, yeah? With Latvia, I've never actually heard of it before. And when I found out I was going there, I had to kind of go on Google and like, kind of look it up and um, now I'm here I'm understanding why they come here because it looks like it looks like it can cause a bit of chaos at night right yes you're gonna find out what goes on behind the scenes on a stag weekend I'm a bit worried about that they don't know that you're gonna be the surprise rep either right I hope okay. they're not disappointed <laughs> I have a feeling they won't be disappointed <laughs> To be honest, I think that will make the stag weekend. Okay. Yeah. They're doing shooting with guns that you cannot. I can't shoot them wait for that. I'm really, really excited about that. Do you like your hands around the pair of guns? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So they're doing a Kalashnikov shooting, pump action shotguns, the lot. These guys are really up for it. To be a successful rep, yeah. you've got to be fun. Now, oh, I can handle that one. Yeah, I've spoken to you for like five <laughs> minutes now and I kind of get the impression you know how to have fun. Yeah. And I have absolutely no concerns that she's going to be up for us and get stuck in about the stags tomorrow. I'll be there to help you the entire weekend, but you are in charge. Well, if I've you got your help, it. surely I must be able to do it. A little bit worried about organisation, like getting everyone out of the club at the right time, because I know what it's like when you're out. Everyone kind of goes missing. So you have to have complete control of the group. Yeah. As soon as you meet them, make sure you pick out the group leader, and that is Mark. He's the best man. You also need to make a massive fuss of Andy. Oh, of course. He's a stag. Yeah. This is the biggest party Andy's ever going to attend, and he's going to have you unveiled to him to look yeah. after him and his mates for the entire weekend. Yeah. That's going to make the stag weekend unforgettable. Okay. You know, it's going to be unmatched <laughs> by any other stag weekend he's going to attend again. They might be a bit shocked with the old drinking. I think I might drink some of them under the table. I'm going to lay that one on the table now. I've printed off this itinerary for you so you know exactly what's happening at what times. I want you to try and come up with some ideas of how you can get involved. Okay. So you've got this shooting. Have you got any ideas of what you could do there? Um, I guess that it's going to have to kind of be a competition between me and the stag. I'll make sure that we can test you and the stag to see who's the best shooter. 
I will win. Right, yeah. or, or should I like lose so that it makes him happy? I like a bit of a challenge and I like to prove myself to the boys as well. So I might get a little bit drunk. But we'll get drunk. A mate turn a blind eye once or twice in the evening. If she wants to get involved with them, that's fine by me. Just have fun. I will. Don't yeah. worry about that. Yeah, absolutely. Good. I will be testing you, but that's the whole point of this. OK, can I... Can you? If you're going to test me, test me properly. I want scores at the end of the... I'll give you scores, thing, don't worry. Because I need yeah. to work for something. I've like got a ten. feeling you could actually be the first to reach the 10 out of 10 as well. Yeah? I think she's quite a competitive person, so it's going to be good to see if uh, she can actually reach the 10 mark that I've said that I feel she may be able to reach and that would be the first out of many that we've tried before that would actually be at that level. Right, you ready? I am Let's get ready. Night, but okay. Together, I've got good feelings about it. I don't think there's nothing that can go wrong as long as you're having fun. As long as they have a good time, then they've had a good stag do. I am very enthusiastic about this one. She seems like a really nice girl. She seems like she's really up for it and you know she's already telling me she wants to get really involved with the stag weekend. And that's really good to hear. All in all, looking forward to it. Can't wait. The next morning, and it's time to meet the stags. I'm Andy, I'm on my stag do, and I'm hanging out my arse at the moment. I'm Mark, I'm the best man. Um, we're in Latvia, just basically, just to have a laugh. My best man chose Riga. Uh, I had no choice in the matter, so I just got told what to do and wear a stupid outfit for the flight. We chose Latvia basically because we uh, were hoping it was going to be fairly cheap. Uh, obviously, everyone likes to see a few ladies while they're away. Last night, we went to uh, Skyline Bar and the centre. <laughs> and then, um, I can't remember. I feel I'm looking forward to everything, really. I like a bit of a challenge, so this is this is definitely going to be a challenge. The type of celebrity that we're hoping for, and if we don't get her, we're going to be disappointed. Cheryl Cole in a bikini. <laughs> <laughs> and if she ain't here, we're gutted. If it could be anyone in the world, probably, I don't know, Megan Fox or Cheryl Cole or someone like that. My ideal woman has got... Brown hair at the moment, with slight blonde highlights, and she's getting married to me in two months. My biggest hope for today is to make sure that everyone has a good time. Everyone has a laugh, everyone is like it's a stag do um, to remember. Hey right, boys, I'm Keith from Red Seven. How's your stag you can go on? The ultimate party girl is going to be your Red 7 celebrity rep for the rest of the weekend. Are you ready for her? Yeah! Right, boys, Bianca Gascoigne! Hello. So where's the stag? Lovely to meet you, darling. Right. Congratulations. Yay. So, obviously, I'm here to make you have a good time. Yes. We're going to go for a bit of shooting today. Shall we get this party going and get some shooting on? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Come on, then. Let's go. Come on, reception for Bianca, but with so many men, has she got her work cut out? We're going to go and have a bit of shooting. Are you and sure? then I, yeah, of course I am. Me, Keith, oh, and no. of course you, we're going to have a little dancing competition. I can't dance. Oh, dance. Doesn't matter. Try your best. Uh, we just come to the shooting place and I'm bricking it. Proper guns and live ammunition. Yeah, she's all right. I think everyone's quite happy, so yeah, it's a winner. Bianca, yeah, yeah, she sounds really nice. I've been chatting in the, uh, in the bus and now she sounds really down to earth, really nice. Who's getting her? Sorry, Nan. Coming up, there's guns. More guns. Must feel like a man. Huh? I've got to kill something like a wild animal. <laughs> We're in Riga, and celebrity rep Bianca Gascoigne is chaperoning a stag party. Their first activity of the day couldn't be more manly. Don't take that off, or... Just like the movies, get your jewellery off before a gunfight. They're bullets in there, yeah? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Break yourself, fool! You missed them both. I'm home for the girl, yeah? Hey! 
I'm feeling quite scared actually to be fair. Like, I didn't think I'd find it scary. But I think it's quite liberating and like having a gun and kind of I don't know, I, just, I hope I hit the target. Thank you. What the fuck was yeah, that? Yeah, see? Shoot me over there! Is that LM on? Yeah. Oh, no, no, your one was really quiet. Yeah. Definitely wakes you up. I should be like a man. I want to go and kill something, like a wild animal or something. Not to be outdone, Bianca has a go. What do you do? Yeah, Okay. Yeah? Hey! Bianca's gone down in an absolute storm so far. I've been really impressed with how involved with the group she's got. The stags absolutely love her. They're all raving about the fact they've got Bianca Gascoigne, the well-known party girl at the stag weekend. Yeah, six holes, mate. Count them. Six times. Do the kiss! So as they count the scores, did Bianca beat any of the boys? Didn't just get the one in the arm. Take me out. What did you get? You just added another one on. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll rewind the tape. I've loaded it. I've got one, two, three, four. Yeah, but one's in, in, on the white bit. Please. He's on the white bit. Shame. Well, I've only just gone off a peak key, don't I? Yeah. That's just what you do, isn't it? It's just what I do. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Just get him a bobber bag. Hang on, my bobber no. bag. Oh, don't use my oh, lines. Oh, don't use, oh, don't use my lines. I'll beat you in the dancing competition later as well. Morgan. With everyone getting more confident, it won't be long before Bianca has another turn. <laughs> It looks good. Ah, thanks, mate. You said I was good. Did you get that? No, he, he just took the gun off me and oh, said, yeah, well, that's enough. Yeah, it was wicked, actually. It's kind of a weird feeling, but I was a bit scared at first. I didn't know if it was going to hit, and I get the target. Take shot out. Come on, mate. Take it Such a dumb shot. How easy was that to do? <laughs> They seem like a nice bunch of lads. Um, they're up for a laugh, which is good for later. And it's not, I've never done anything like this before. I was really, really scared, but it's actually wicked, and it's like quite addictive feeling, like we're having to shoot things. <laughs> um, but yeah, all in all, it's going okay, I think. Right through his heart. Look at that. I'm a cold killer in his head. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. I got six. You only have five bullets. I got one. Yeah, I know. Oh, five, man. <laughs> Oh, it worked! Two. How many do you get? One. Oh, yes! Woo! Oh, to be fair, like, how can you tell? Because they're all holes. They're like, oh, yeah, that's my hole, because like, all the bullets are the same or something. Because mine got a little D in it, so I'm like, oh. OK, and they're both yeah. You're going to do better than that. <laughs> so that's the little guns done with. Time to play with the big boys. And after this? Yep. No, um, look, it don't look. No, because it really shows yeah. that. There's a bullet. Finish. Anything. Oh, my God. Can you hear my arse flattening? Fuck you, then. One for luck. You see it? Fuck. Seriously, oh, that was really good. That was stupid, though, man. That's crazy. When you realise, though, when you get a gun like that in your hand, mate, in the hand of a twat, you're a twat. Oh. <laughs> Don't ever give him a gun. Oh. Why don't you want to show a question, Coffee? I think it's a mixture of being hungover and being a bit of a girl. <laughs> It's just a jolt on it, it's just... 
Crazy shit. So far, everything is actually going to plan. I'm pleased. I hope they're pleased. And hopefully, you know, it still keeps going to plan. Yeah? Yeah, it was good. I thought that gun was going to be a little bit more heavier, to be fair. We've just uh, done three of the guns so far. We're about to go into the fourth. My ears are ringing. I can hardly even hear what I'm saying because that last gun was so powerful. Um, but to kind of wrap up the day here before we move back onto the hotel, uh, Bianca and I have decided that uh, her and the uh, stag are going to do a lot of competition. All right, in the bar, have it. You got more than the Oh, shut up. Go on, freak. Where you get on? It's not looking good. I think he ate two. Go on, Bianca. Good game. Good game. Good game. All in all, it was a draw. So, we're going to have a drink off later. That's it. But it was wicked. It, my shoulder hurts a little bit, though. It's quite liberating. It was really good. If I had to mark her out of ten right now, I'd probably give her an eight or a nine. I am really happy with her. I really want her to, when we get to the end of the activity, to take the reins and say, look, we need to get back to the hotel now, everyone back on the bus. I've had to kind of give her a few pointers every so often. She's not done it on her own yet, but I'm confident she'll do it tonight in the bar. Right, Bianca, we need to get the boys back on the bus and back to the hotel, so you're in charge again. OK. Well, boys, literally, it's time now to get back, have a shit shower shave, yeah. and then get ready, and we'll hit the bar. Hey! Let's go. I'm definitely looking forward to the pub crawl, without a doubt. Um, I felt a bit uneasy because it was like such a big group of guys, but I think later when I have a drink, I'll be off it straight right. I'm just going to enjoy myself, I think. That's the best thing to do. I'm trying to keep a positive head at this particular moment. Keith's been wonderful. Yeah, he's been such, such a diamond. I couldn't have asked for much more, really. He's just really made sure I've been all right as well. All in all, all is good. Hello. Already? Hey. Right, boys, these are your two guides that are going to be showing Bianca where the hottest clubs are in Riga tonight. She's going to be leading the way and she's going to be getting the tips from Alicia and Victoria here. Yeah, the tips, then. Can we show her tips? That could happen later. <laughs> oh, really? Is that what you're hoping, then? No, not me. No, no. <laughs> OK, it's over at you again. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. I definitely think Bianca would be good on a pub crawl because, yeah, uh, she's got foam, I think. That he was naked in his bed. Oh, nice. Yeah. Chat yeah. anyway, everyone. She can't shut up. Yeah. It's the Eiffel Tower. I see, I see. Fact, don't I get a little bit itchy? Huh? I love this guy. <laughs> Can I have your attention, please, just one minute? We're going to get out of here and we're going to go to the next, hopefully, lively bar. Yeah. Shooting. Uh, being a gentleman, I thought, no, we'll call it a draw. Fair's fair. Muzzle top. So we just had a shot. I don't know what it was. They said it was Jager or something like that, but it weren't. Bring money, though. I'm going to see. They're all saying that they're really chuffed to you. Oh, good. Bianca's been absolutely quality. Uh, you couldn't ask for a better girl to be on the trip with us. Um, you know, you, you wanted someone that uh, was going to have a laugh with the boys, and uh, you know, you got that plus, you know, a million. So the good thing about Bianca is that uh, she just turn up and she just don't do it. She's she got no airs or graces. Overall, Bianca has been superb. She's so down to earth. She's a lovely girl. She really is a lovely girl. And I'm sure she's going to be out into the early morning.
To be honest, the fact that Bianca's been here has made everyone relax a bit. She's been partying more than any of us, so in all honesty, it's just been great taking the pressure off us, and she's just like made us all relax in that, so it's been great. Hello, when she was revealed, I was just like, oh my god, it's amazing. You know, I'd really like to take her home just to meet my mother. I wouldn't be like, like filth of her, I'd actually like make love to her because she's amazing. When Bianca came out this morning, yes. do you know what I thought? What I did thought you think? We've had just, just this has been the best time ever, and it's just been a fantastic day. It's not only going to go down as one of those days that it's going to be remembered. It's going to be done, done as one of those days that's going to be remembered for the rest of our lives as one of the best weekends ever. Bianca's been brilliant. We just had a dance off. I won it. But I let her win it, obviously. I was holding all my moves back. I was going to bust out the worm. I thought, no, I'll keep the worm. So I just gave it a bit of a rope. <laughs> but then uh, Bianca, Bianca won it. With the dance off, I'm not actually too sure who won it, but I think we all won it. <laughs> I do think it's been a brilliant stag, and uh, definitely Andy's had a good time. I know everyone else has as well. Oh, I think I'm going to cry. Are you going to cry? Do we cry? I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I don't want to talk about it either. <laughs> She's made her night. Uh, the guys have done nothing but rave about you all night. That's good. As long as they've had a good time, I told you. Didn't I? You know what? I rated it for you, it's animals. Please, go on, please. <laughs> to actually match a red southern red. Where's your stag? Right. I was going to say, yes, a big thank you for letting me on your stag do. Thank had you. had an absolutely amazing time. You've given me a red seven <laughs> for a stag. And do you know what? I'm going to leave you. I've got to go to bed. Yeah, you do that. You go to bed. You have a good night. It's been a pleasure. I have been so impressed. I hope Bianca's done. She's unquestionably the best we've ever had. You've spoken to all the rest of the guys and they're loving it. It's by far the best stag weekend they've ever been on and she's made that happen. She's actually reached the 10 out of 10 standard for a Red 7 rep. With Kitty, we've had our differences in the past, but we've come together and he's given me a 10 out of 10 and now I absolutely love the guy. She's brilliant. We'd have her in a heartbeat. She's excellent. She knows how to party. This is literally the world's best tag do ever. She's even given me pointers of what we should be doing on a night out. It has been an absolute pleasure to meet these boys. I'll tell you what, I couldn't have asked for a better group. They've been absolutely blinding. They've sort of taken me under their wing and shown me a good time, and I've hopefully showed them a good time. I've had a really good time, and I've met some really, really nice guys, and I couldn't ask for much more. Do something like this again. I'd do it every day of my life if I could.